it seems to me that the Democrats in Congress right. are using these women and children and men too as political pawns. At the, at the same time that they're tweeting graphics of you know overcrowded detention facilities or children crying for their mothers because they've been separated, Congress refuses to do anything about it because oh. those images help their political cause. I mean, I, I try to use the word evil lightly, yeah. but to use a child, especially a sexually trafficked, sexually abused child, uh, as a political pawn to benefit your own political career is evil. Right. Yeah, no, this is really inexcusable because you're exactly right. They're, they're, they're using pictures of these people and they know that's inhumane, uh, the conditions that they're in, and it is inhumane. And there's nobody that doubts that, but they're using it as a, sh as a weapon, as a sword, instead of as a shield. We should be shielding some of these people. We should be strengthening our border so there'd be deterrence, so they wouldn't come here because... Part of the reason that they're in trouble is they're coming up with drug cartels. You've got people who are renting children, and actually in some cases we've found where children have been sold. And uh, we, we've reached this outrageous uh, uh, situation on our border, and it's an embarrassment to the country. And we have to address it, because it's more than an embarrassment. It's a hazard to the country, but it's a hazard to these people who keep risking their lives to come over here. And then when they get here, we can't provide for them, number one. Number two, they're here illegally. They need to go back to their own country. And the biggest danger that they have is, is getting ready to come up because you're going to see another surge because the deserts in southern Arizona and south of Texas, in, in south Texas and Mexico, they're going to start hitting 115, 120 degrees during the daytime, and people are going to keep coming. We've got to put a stop to this. We could do it if we could get some money from, from our counterparts on the other side of the aisle. They, they don't want to give us the money. Right. Essentially, the only people not hurt by having a porous border and lax immigration laws are Democrats in Congress. The American people are at risk from a national security standpoint because of what we talked about in the introduction, the fact that there are terrorists who are actively exploiting vulnerabilities in our immigration system to come here. We know that women are being hurt. We know that children are being used in these recycling rings, these rings of human trafficking. And yet... The only people that are safe, that are insulated from all this, are these elitist Democrats in Congress. Sir, before we go, I have to ask you, right. I know Democrats use their talking points on camera. You know, they always try to blame the president. But when you're talking to them one-on-one yeah. -on, -one on the floor of the House of Representatives, what is their excuse for not appropriating money to help these people? I have found very few that even believe that it's a real crisis. And, and that's, the, that's the shocking thing to me. Um, and, and actually, some of my friends, and I am good friends with some of my, uh, my colleagues across the aisle, and they've told me, Andy, uh, it, it's political in nature. And that's, that's the biggest travesty of this altogether. You put the nation at risk, you put these individuals at risk, and it's, it's for political purposes as opposed to doing what's right and what's best for the United States of America.